Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you people are fine. Today's topic is acceptance criteria for radiography examination for various codes. This video you have not seen before. Sure, because in one video you will get the all imperfection acceptance criteria related to radiography examination for various codes in one video you will get all. And I have prepared this video and for help you a lot and it takes a lot of time so if you like this video then please subscribe my channel and not miss any future videos when i will upload here and please don't forget to press the bell notification okay let's start so you see here first is column number then type of imperfection piping underground there is api 110 and ask me b31.4 so very important if you go ask me b31.4 this is the pipeline then they will follow the api 1104 that's why i mentioned ask me b31.4 this is ask me section 8 this is pressure vessel code standard and this refinery piping this is ask me b31.3 this is class 41.3.2 and the power boiler is ask me b31.1 so this is the table so you will get almost all imperfection in this video one is incomplete penetration if you need to go the incomplete penetration so if you go the clause 9.3 in api 104 it is clearly mentioned the maximum 25.4 is the defect for individual and length of indication or ip ip in any 300 mm length of oil exceed 225 mm so this is the maximum it is mentioned in api 104 so what is the acceptable limit you see if it is length of indication of ip in any 300 mm length means in any 300 mm length only 25 mm, uh, mm is acceptable if it is more than that then it will be rejected ip exit 8 percent of the oil length in any oil less than 12 inch in length so this is the acceptance criteria if you go the pressure vessel as in section 8 division 2 or division 1 because division 1 division 2 division 3 all are the combined so if you see this is not acceptable if you go as me b31.3 clause 330 341.3.2 it is mentioned less than and equal to 38 mm means 1.5 inch in any 100 mm 6 inch oil length or 25 percent of total oil length whichever is less so this is the acceptance criteria for ask me b31.3 and the last one is the power boiler is the not acceptable for incomplete penetration next we will go the mismatch and incomplete penetration so two things are there one is incomplete penetration and the mismatch means this is the bead off bead off is there in that case there is incomplete penetration that is individual indication is maximum 50.8 is acceptable in aggregate length if you go then it is continuous to a 300 mm the maximum 75 mm old is acceptable so understand the not acceptable for pressure vessel and refinery piping also not acceptable and as may be 31.1 also not acceptable so it's same as above and the third incomplete fusion incomplete fusion individual maximum 25.4 mm length of indication is if incomplete fusion in any 300 mm length it is exit if it is 25 mm exit then it, it will be rejected and I have exceed if it is 8 percent of the total length 8 percent of the oil length in less than 12 inch 300 mm length in 300 mm length if it is 8 percent of the oil length it is exceed then it will be rejected not acceptable for the pressure vessel because it is very stringent less than equal to 38 mm 1.5 inch in any 150 mm oil length penetration on 25 because this one if you go as may be 31.3 incomplete penetration incomplete fusion is the same and this is as may be 30 plus 136.4.5 this is not acceptable so understand one two three now we'll go the second one second one is type of penetration cold lab incomplete fusion this is individual maximum 50.8 mm aggregate if you go as per api 1104 then uh, IFD is in continuous 12 inch 300 mm length will exceed if it is 2 inch then it will be rejected aggregate length if it is indication of IFD exceed 8 percent of the total length also then it will be rejected not acceptable it is not permitted and not acceptable in 31.1 31.3 and as we section 8 in the 5 internal concavity you have to go 
क्लॉस 9.3 द इंटरनल कंक्यूविटी मेंशन द डेंसिटी ऑफ द रेडियोग्राफिक इमेज ऑफ द आईसी इंटरनल कंक्यूविटी डस नॉट एक्सीड दैट द थिनेस एडजसन पैरामीटर इफ इट इज रेडियोग्राफिक इमेज डेंसिटी इफ इट इज एक्सीड द थिनेस एडजसन पैरामीटर देन डेफिनेटली इट विल बी रिजेक्टेड फॉर एरियाज दैट एक्सीड द डेंसिटी ऑफ द थिनेस एडजसन पैरामीटर द क्राइटेरिया वी हैव टू चेक द इन बर्न थ्रू सी 9.3.7 और एटवी केबल आपकी केबल ओके so you have to check c9.3.7 at pressure vessel if you go concavity due to the welding process on the root side of the single sided circumferential bar weld is permitted when the resulting thickness of the weld is at least equal to the thickness of the thinner metal if it is resulting thickness is at least equal to the thinner thickness of the thinner metal the two section being joined and the contour of the concavity is smooth then it is acceptable depth of surface is concavity total joint thickness including weld reinforcement greater than equal to t not 7 you have to go 341.3.2 if you have to, you have to go not 7 and power boiler if you go the internal contention of the root surface of the gear weld which has been examined by radiograph is acceptable only the condition is when there is a gradual change in the density as indicated of the radiograph if the gear weld is not designated to be examined by radiograph a visual examination we have to perform for if it is readily accessible if it is not readily accessible definitely it could be rejected burn through defects has been separate you can see section 8 31.3 and asmi 31.1 all are not acceptable it is not listed it is not but if it is go if you go ap1 and 04 then defects has been separated in two way one is for pipe if it is greater than is 2.375 inch means 60.3 mm another is less than 62.375 inch so the maximum density to dimension exceed 14 inch the density in any portion of the bt is image exceeded that of the thinnest adjacent plane material for details if you go we need to go the api 104 clause 9.3.7.2 you see that there are so many option option a option b option c option d also may be there so option a b c you can check in 9.3.7.2 type of imperfection this is the slag inclusion if you go slag inclusion acceptable criteria separated two parts one is od is more than 60 mm and another od is less than 60 mm So you have to go this one for details 9.3.8.2 and the clause 9.3.8.3. So you understand this one. As for section 8, if you go 230 slag inclusion 230, when T is the thickness of the plate, as may be 31.3. What is the requirement? Individual length if you go less than equal to T W by 3. Individual width less than equal to 2.5 mm and less than equal to T W by 3 is cumulative length. Less than equal to T W in any 12 T O L W O L length. So you can see in clause 341.3.2 in these details. And power boiler is not acceptable. You see crack. Cracks it not not acceptable. It's everywhere. But if you go the check in uh, A P I 104, cracks will be considered a defect. So any of the following condition is there. So the crack of any size or location in the O L is not shallow cutter crack or star crack. so it should not be any shallow cutter crack or star crack then we can check if it is shallow cutter crack or star crack then it will be rejected the crack is shallow cutter crack or star crack with a length that exceed if it is 4 mm more than then definitely it will be rejected the cluster porosity cluster porosity if you go ap1 and 04 the cp that occurs in any pass except that the finish pass cell comply with the criteria if you go 9.3.9.2 then cp that occurs in the finished pass shall be considered the defect said should be any of the following condition one is a the diameter of the cluster exceed is 30 mm one is another is the aggregate length of cp in any continuous 12 mm length if it is 13 mm exceed then it will be rejected so cluster porosity api 104 this is the acceptance criteria and as me section 8 the length of an an unacceptable acceptable the length of an acceptable cluster shall not exceed the lesser than of 25 mm or more than one cluster is present the sum of the length of the cluster shall not exceed 25 mm 
so this is the requirement of fb section 8 if you go fb 31.3 this is longitudinal group and the meter meter group c you have to check the bbbc code section 8 division 1 appendix 4 then you can go the these details porosity in excess if it is asme b 31.1 porosity is excess that shown as acceptable in asme bbbc section 1 non mandatory uh, non mandatory appendix a a250 you have to check for cluster porosity and undercut if you the aggregate length of indication eu and iu in any combination in any continuous 12 inch length then will exceed to 50 mm then it will be rejected if it is the aggregate length of indication of EU and IU in any combination exit 1 6 of the old length then it will be rejected. Not listed. Not listed in ASME section 8. If you go the refinery piping ASME B31.3 age depth of undercut less than or equal to an mm. Okay and and less than or equal to TW by 4 and depth of undercut less than or equal to 1.5 mm and less than equal to TW by 4 or 1 mm. So not listed. This is the not listed in ASME B31.1 and this is the requirement of B31.3. Elephant in the hollow bit porosity if you see not listed if it is it is not listed everywhere but it is listed only in API 104. Hollow bit porosity is defined if you go 9.3 it is clearly mentioned all this defect. The HV shall be considered defects to with the any of the following. The length of if it individual indication if it is exit 13 mm, the aggregate length of indication of HB in any condition is 13 mm, uh, sorry 12 inch in 300 mm, length of weight exit up to 50 mm. So this is one condition, another condition individual indication of HB is greater than 6 mm in length of separated by less than 2 inch 50 mm. Also this one, if it is uh, exit then it will be rejected. This is called hollow bit porosity. And the last is Accumulated disconnectivity. Accumulated disconnectivity, where you can find out in ASME uh, in API 104 go class 9.3, excluding incomplete penetration due to high low and undercutting, any accumulation of imperfection shall be considered a defect. So, if, if you see any accumulation imperfection shall be considered a defect, should any of the following condition exist? The aggregate length of accumulation indication any continuous 300 mm length if it is over the exit is 50 mm more than 50 mm that that indication then definitely rejected the aggregate length of indication exit if it is 8 percent of the oil length then it was also rejected it will be not applicable it is not applicable and not applicable so this 12 very important imperfection you can see if you have which one you can check by radiography examination it is clearly said here everything details you can go each clause and you can go there check so it is very useful for you people so you can get a easily get all the details so if you like this video please subscribe my channel to get the regular updates see you soon my next video take care